Good evening and welcome to Healthy Discoveries, brought to you by the VCU Medical Center. I'm Mandy Setliff. Tonight we discover a new approach to treating dangerously rapid heartbeats. It's called the mini maze. Where it really showed was when I would get in a race or start and then it would just, when it happened, it would just be like someone pulled one of my spark plug wires off. I ended up finishing second in my age group, you know, for the year, but I had won, you know, a couple years before, the two years before. Taking second was bad enough, but for Peter Swan, the risk of stroke and other health concerns meant it was time to tackle his atrial fibrillation head on. Atrial fibrillation is beginning to originate in most patients by irregular beats in the veins behind the heart, called the pulmonary veins. Standard treatment involves threading a catheter into the heart to destroy the area, sending the irregular beats. But for some patients, that's not an option. Patients who are older, who have had previous catheter-based ablation, uh, patients with anatomical abnormalities, or for some reason, like for example, if you cannot get a catheter into the heart, you cannot do the catheter-based procedure. So the mini maze was developed, a procedure where physicians go into the chest and around the heart, treating it from the outside rather than the inside. We put a clamp around the veins and deliver heat uh, using radio frequency energy, and, and that basically creates uh, an electrical uh, point of isolation. The tissue is still intact, so blood goes through and all that, but electrical impulses cannot cross that area. I was back on my bike, uh, probably just on a trainer, uh, maybe two, two to two and a half weeks after the procedure. I've been Virginia State champion twice, and it would be nice to return to, to that. If you have any questions, give us a call at 1-866-828-3627. We'll see you next time. Good night.